Do you think it's possible to write a 1,500 word blog article in just a minute? Well, with WriteSonic it is. I wrote this phrase and I got this output in just a minute. Now that's just the beginning. There's way more things that WriteSonic can do. So let's go jump over to this dashboard right now. So WriteSonic is an AI writing assistant. If you want to check it out, the link will be provided in the description. Now let's go ahead on over to the good stuff. This is my main dashboard. And like I mentioned before, WriteSonic can do a bunch of things that we'll go over in a bit. Now I want to go through the best thing, which is the instant article writer and the AI article writer. Now I also use these for my YouTube videos, which are great because they give me great ideas for videos. Plus they help me out with my titles, but Let's jump into this little beauty right here, which will write a 1,500 word blog article. Now, all we have to do is write a title. Now, be aware from this title, we're going to get the whole blog output. So it's really good that we are really precise with this title that we're going to use. So in this case, I'm going to use this title. So it's WordPress type form alternative you've been waiting for called Quill Forms. So that's the video I made and I want to write an article for it. So we're, for example, I'm auto posting on my WordPress blog when I publish a video. So maybe adding this would be even better because it gives me more content and a better SEO score. Then I can select the language. So there's several languages available. In this case, I'll keep it in English. And then we have the quality input, quality type. Okay, so there's economy, average, good or premium. Obviously, I'm going to use premium for this, but you're going to get different outputs and you're going to have more credits if you lose it, if you use a less quality um, quality type. So that's really good to know. So let's wait for the output. There we go. We just got our output for this. Now, it also adds an image if you want to use this. For example, it uses a quill. So that's why it's using this little feather, but it doesn't have to do anything with this. We can fine tune this and I'll show you in a bit. So now we got this output. All right. So we got the image source, which is if we're going to post this on a WordPress blog, it's giving credits to the source. OK, and then we have the article for this. OK, so you can see type form versus quill forms and many more. Let's begin. Why forms are important. Type form, a WordPress type form alternative, quill forms, etc. And we're getting all this information for our blog post. Now, remember, we're getting this output right from using this little title here. So obviously we will fine tune this, but this saves us a ton of time because we already got a broad idea of what we need. So, for example, if I want to edit this, I'll go into the Sonic editor. So I'm going here and this is going to open up like a word kind of block thing, kind of writer, and we can edit things here. Now we can also use the AI writer assistant from right Sonic inside of here. So let's just say that I want to highlight something from here. Um, I don't know this little sentence right there. Okay. So I'm going to highlight that, highlight that there. We could change this to heading, subheading, normal, make it bold, italic, underline, etc. But there's the AI shortcuts. This is where the fun begins. Now I can rephrase this. So let's just say that, you know what? I like the phrase, but I want it to be something changed a bit so I can use rephrase. If I rephrase it, it's going to say something similar to that, but it's going to rephrase it. Okay. So now that I've selected rephrase, we can select what output it gives us. So for example, this is the output it's original here and I can replace it. So I'll click on this and it's going to replace it. Now it's rephrased, but we can do more with this. So again, let's grab this part of the sentence. The AI shortcut, I can expand this. So let's just say that I want to go even broader, broader with that sentence. Well, I click on that and it's going to generate it. So now it generates these outputs and I can see, I can read through this and say, you know what, this one does fit with what I'm talking about. So I can select it, obviously take your time and do this really well. So there we go. I just selected it. Now I'll do something else. I'll grab this phrase. I'll use the AI and use shorten. So for example, example, again, it's going to give me shortened sentence of this. So some of them um, are a bit longer, but you can use any of these. So for example, I'll use that one again. I'm not actually analyzing this. I'm just showing you what's capable. We can edit the whole thing. I'll get rid of that image because, well, it doesn't go with what I'm talking about and I'll keep it clean and I can grab this and use it with my blog post. Okay. I'll add the image over there again. We can use the general settings here for short, medium, long, if you want a more more broader um, output for this. Now, if you raise the creativity for this, obviously it's going to be less accurate the output, but it's going to be a little bit more um, fun. It's going to be more authentic. It could be, and we can also fine tune that also the language and the quality type. Again, we're in premium, but you can use less quality if you like. So that's, we can use, save this, we can export it, etc. We can share it, print it, all that good stuff. Let's get out of here. Okay. So that's one of the use cases In the history, history, we're going to view all of this.
And the next one that I want to show you is the AI Article Writer 3.0, which I think gives us better outputs because obviously we feed it a little bit more of information. So for example, we're going to use the same topic, okay? Again, you can fine tune this. You got up to 300 words for the topic. Let's go into generate and it's gonna generate for us the intro and it's gonna go step by step to give us the better output. So it gave, it gave us some ideas and now we can select what fits the better writing output that we need. So for example, um, let me read through these. Okay, so I like this one. I'll select that one. Okay, so we're at the get intro. Now it's going to give us the, the outlines. So let's go ahead and generate that. And it's gonna provide us several outlines for our article that we want to write. There we go, we got an outline. Again, this is just for testing. I'll use that one, for example. So we have the article intro. Again, we can fine tune it here also. We don't have to stick with what they provide us. But in this case, I'll stick to it and I'm gonna generate. So it gave us the idea, the intro, the outline, and now we got an article. So for example, how is the article going to be distributed? For example, these are ideas also. So for example, point one, what is a quill forms? What is how to create a quill forms? Build a basic sign of form, add theme into your skill. And then we got this idea. Whoops, I selected it. But well, let's just say that we're gonna select that, okay? So now we've selected it, okay? We can keep or remove these also, and again, we can customize them. So if I need to change something here, I can just go ahead and write it. And again, we're sticking with the quality type, premium. So now we have the title, we have the intro, we have the article outlines, and now it's going to generate those outlines for us. So let's wait for that to load. There we go, it just wrote it based on the outlines that we have. So we have the title, we have the intro, and now we have the outline. So remember, a brief introduction to Quill Forms, it's this one right here. What are WordPress Quill Forms? Here it is, and we got the output for that. So for each one of these. So this gives us a more specific blog article than what we would get with the Instant Writer. Now, both have really great use cases. If you wanna get like a broad idea, I would recommend the other one. If you wanna be more specific, this would be the way to go. And again, we can go into the Sonic editor if we want to edit this and fine tune it again using the AI writer if we need it to expand, shorten, or rephrase. Okay, let's get rid of this one. And now there's several other things that we can do with this. For example, I use this a lot with YouTube titles. I'll put it in the description and it's gonna output for me a lot of titles and then I can select it from there. And let me grab an example right now. Okay, so here an here's an example for a video I made for page screen search term, so what is this important for? We're gonna say monitoring visual changes. Okay, that's what we're gonna use. The tone of voice, we're gonna keep it excited because we wanna obviously be excited for this. Um, English and premium output. Let's generate this, and now it's going to generate titles that I could potentially use on my YouTube title. So it helps me out. So here we got some few outputs. So for example, we can select from here. If we don't like what we got, again, we can change it to something else or generate again. But I can be, for example, encouraging. Let's go ahead and generate again. And it's gonna give us more outputs. And the idea is to obviously get ideas for our YouTube title based on this description. So now we have several titles here that we can use. And it's a pretty useful tool because sometimes we lose imagination or we just don't know what to write the title about to make it exciting. So this helps us out with that idea. And just like that, there's several tools that we can use. For example, Instagram captions, tweet generator, the Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, and it'll give us the ads for that. Amazon sponsored brand ads headline, Amazon product description. So we can write what the product's about and it'll give us a description for it. It saves us a ton of time. Amazon product features, Amazon product titles, for social media, for website copy, and others that are different. For example, text summaries, song lyrics, real estate listing description, pain aggregation, and there's more tools. I mean, if we go through this, there's a bunch of tools available. But just like that, I mean, that is right Sonic. They also have some Photosonic AI generating images if you like to use that also. And it's based on the word credits that you have. So if you wanna generate images, that's possible also. But that is right Sonic. I mean, if you want to write really long articles really quickly, this is the way to go. I like the user experience that right Sonic has provided for this, especially with the AI article writer 3.0. This is my favorite tool along with the YouTube titles. I mean, I've used them all the time, but there you go. That's a wrap.